What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Match Report and in this one I'm going to talk about the Reds' uh, latest match against Newcastle home at Old Trafford in the Capital One Cup. So the team from the weekend's game at Liverpool had a few changes in it and the Gea had returning goal. The back four was a very, very inexperienced back four, you know, almost an experimental side but, you know, the back four... Uh, a few of them have played together uh, a few times in the reserves in the last two, uh, two seasons, so they do know each other well. So uh, lining up on the right back row was Monik Vermal, uh, then Scott Wooten and Michael Keane uh, line up in the centre. Uh, you know, Wooten went on to the preseason tour and he impressed with uh, a couple of his performances there. And Alex Butner had another chance to have a run out in the first team at left back. Uh, then it was a three-man midfield with Darren Fletcher returning for the first time in 10 months, uh, you know, playing that holding midfield role that has been desperately needed and missed uh, by the Reds at times, you know, in the past uh, you know, 10 months since his absence, uh, with Cleverly and Anderson either side forming a three-man midfield, like I said. Uh, then up top, a very strong uh you know, half of the field here with Rooney, Welbeck and Chicharito team out as the front three. And at the time, it was kind of like a 4-3-1-2 formation with Rooney uh, linking the play, you know, just behind Welbeck and Chicharito and the three, three midfielders, uh, especially Anderson and Calvary pushing up to give Rooney and the other strikers some support. So, you know, it was a very fluid uh, system that Selex uh, pushed out and I think by the lineup, it tells you that, that Selex did take the night seriously. And, you know, Newcastle uh, are not mugs. They beat us last season and drew uh, at Old Trafford as well. So Newcastle, you know, they have a very good team, and but they feel that they're almost reserve team. But still, they had, you know, Shola Amiobi up top, very a tricky customer so it was going to be a very uh, tough night's work for the you know young and inexperienced defenders and uh, the game started almost very slowly you know we controlled it a bit because we are the home team passed it around but we didn't go anywhere to be fair you know one and two nice passes uh, but at times for mile uh, as well he got into space but unfortunately didn't find the uh, kind of like end product if you like but that's expected to be ex uh, you know uh, expected at this kind of level for the uh, you know debutants because they might be a bit nervous and that's how you learn because the more you play at this high level the more you're going to feel more comfortable and the better you perform and um, in the system that we play you know it relies on the fullbacks to attack very very high uh, because in the three man midfield we didn't have a lot of width so uh, when the opportunity arises Vermal and Butner had to attack and that did sometimes led us to be exposed at the back but you know Keane and uh, Wooten combination did quite well against Amiobi you know uh, at times they did get turned uh, for by Amiobi and Vukic, but again, uh, they did uh, all together. Ultimately, did quite well in the first half, dealing with most of the balls. Uh, Vukic had a really good chance, actually turning Michael Keane and just flashing past the post uh, with De Gea scrambling. Uh, De Gea came for a few balls, you know, caught with them very well in the first half, claiming one or two excellent balls, you know. Uh, the one that a lot of people don't expect him to come for, but he did and uh, claim it quite convincingly. So that was a good aspect. Um, again, there was some intricate play. Uh, Anderson, Cleverly, and Welbeck, um, and uh, you know that pairing, that trio did really well. And I have to say, Wayne Rooney returning from you know four or five weeks ago after his uh, uh, you know really horrific uh, accident uh, against Fulham, and you know good to see him back on the ball. Really good play from Rooney at times. You know he dropped in that that Shinji Kagawa mode where he uh, almost dropped back into midfield sometime, and he was really uh, leading the team really well. I thought, you know, he knew there was a lot of inexperience in the back, so he had to help out a lot with set pieces, etc. Uh, so he was winning a lot of balls, linking up play, providing uh, and overall almost a perfect all-round player so Rooney really good to see him in like you know very good shape and hopefully he'll be back uh, and playing well for us uh, this Saturday against Spurs so um, you know that was a really good you know run out for Rang Rooney as well 
but the first goal came from Anderson. It was a really sweet strike. Uh, he went past Dan Goslin of Newcastle once or twice, you know, with a little fend off with his hand and really an unstoppable shot, really. You know, it bounced off the post, inside of the post and went in. And, you know, Elliot, the Newcastle goalkeeper, didn't have a chance of it. And like I said on Twitter last night, it, this is kind of like the Anderson that Selex bought uh, in 2007, you know, very powerful, a lot of drive and determination and, you know, an unstoppable left foot if he wanted it. Uh, Anderson was regarded as, as, you know, one of these driving force uh, for midfield, but, you know, he had a few terrible knee injuries and that took almost his speed out. But last night, that goal showed that he does uh, have it in him. And, you know, if he was more consistent, I'm sure that Selex will be picking him uh, in the team uh, once again. And that was on the 44 minute mark. So it was quite late on in the first half because, uh, you know, the game, the tempo wasn't very high. And that's expect to, you know, to be expected, if you like, in a cup game midweek, not, a, you know, a and almost changed side, so a lot of teams are not going to be as fluid as the normal starting eleven. So that is it to be expected, like I said. But again, uh, it was a really, really great goal that separated the sides at half time. Then you know we had a few more opportunities, uh, but again Harper as well in the first half producing some great saves. Uh, in the first half, we say from Anderson uh, and a few other ones from uh, Chicharito as well but you know uh, we kept creating and that was the positive thing about our play that uh, the three man system worked quite well at times but at others because of the like I said the uh, fullbacks had to push on very wide the uh, sometime we were exposed to the back but unfortunately uh, so I say uh, Newcastle didn't uh, punish us as they should have done uh, one Newcastle chant that came was for Dan Goslin uh, who you know was inside a box two yards out but uh, luckily he didn't have any more uh, forceful contact than just you know a little toe poke so De Gea collected that very easily uh, and then our second goal went in in the 58th minute from Tom Cleverley after a you know frustrating first half where he missed you know an almost uh, perfect opportunity to break his goal scoring duck. Uh, he took this one very well, you know, uh, great control uh, just outside the box and then placing it nicely in the bottom right corner. Uh, I think Harper's uh, Harper uh, Elliot or uh, the Newcastle uh, goalkeeper saw it late as it came through two defenders so uh, I guess it was uh, kind of like half and half whether the keeper should have saved it or not but I can't take anything away from Tom Cleverley who you know uh, has progressed very well in the last year uh, barring any injuries so this should help him to get back into the starting eleven and you know clay and clamp down his place uh, week in week out because Tom Clever we all know uh, what a great uh, midfielder he can and still could be uh, you know almost reaching that Paul goals kind of like level uh, let's hope our fingers crossed for that and you know after that I have to say Newcastle produced some uh, good chances for themselves uh, you know but still they didn't have the you know goal scoring uh, kind of like play that needed and on uh, the 60th minute they introduced uh, Papi Cisse who you know uh, hasn't scored this season and well what do you know uh, his other substitute Ferguson cost it in and Papi Cisse, you know, with almost his first touch, headed it in, and that made it 2-1 on the 61st minute. So, you know, it was a very tense final half now because both teams was going for it. Uh, United knew that they had to either hold on or press for another goal, and Newcastle knew that they had to press for another goal or they're going to go out. So, that was kind of like, uh, you know almost the perfect match for the neutrals as both teams knew they had to do something to stay in the cup so and that was a really exciting prospect for the neutral like I said but again for United fans it was almost a killer because Newcastle would be fair to them you know away at Old Trafford they didn't die at all and the fact their fans was uh, just brilliant you know uh, providing with a motivation uh, to get back in the game but like I said, we held out well. Rooney, Fletcher uh, helped out the younger uh, lads re really well. Uh, you know, Rooney taking some of the uh, clearance by himself and placing some brilliant counter attacking balls as well. Uh, Hernandez, Chicharito was really unlucky on one occasion. Uh, after a great ball from Rooney, uh, he went round. 
uh, the defender, went round a keeper and, you know, smashed the ball across the bar. So that was unlucky. But Newcastle, again, had their chances. One notable chance was Cissé. He tried a, a outrageous uh, overhead kick, uh, you know, showing his agility. And it almost went in. It, again, hit the crossbar. The hair, you know, was beaten when it was looping over him. Any lower, I think he might have got to it. But again, you can't take away that. that magnificent effort from uh, Pavi Cisse you know he's he's a class act on his day and uh, we were uh, I guess fortunate to get through that and so the game finished 2-1 uh, you know there was some late uh, in introduction to the game as well for uh, Robbie Brady, Tunnicliffe Cliff and Nick Powell uh, so there was a, a lot of youngsters coming on as well Nick Powell looked really good actually uh, few, the few touches that he had you know dribbling and sprinting away from people and he looked really strong and uh, bulky and ready for the first team so I was impressed by his appearance you know all by it um a short one. Uh, one funny story is that Ryan Tunnicliffe's dad, Nick, uh, is going to be a very rich man now after placing a hundred pounds on Ryan Tunnicliffe to make his Manchester United debut uh, when since he was nine years old, and meaning uh, that he will get ten thousand uh, pounds back from the uh, Brook, uh, you know, uh, dealer that he made a deal with. So, um, you know, the Ryan Tunnicliffe has more than one reason to be happy with his cameo appearance last night as well. And yeah, it, the game ended 2-1. So uh, the next round we have Chelsea uh, away as well. So that's going to be obviously a very tough match. Uh, we never get the uh, you know easy away draw as it seems now. You know, last season in the FA Cup we had Liverpool and Man City straight after another. So and this time we had Newcastle at home now, Chelsea away. So it's not going to get any easier. But I guess if you beat these sort of you know bigger teams and Premier League sides. Uh, it gives you a better chance if you do get through and you know start playing the the so-called minor sides from you know the lower league. So uh, I, you can see it as both negative and positive, and it's only good that you test yourself against you know the best there is. So uh, overall, it was a, a decent performance, uh, a very expen experimental back four. I thought overall they did really well, you know, along with Darren Fletcher and Wayne Rooney protecting him. Um, my man of match uh, would have been uh, Wayne Rooney, I think, for his overall play. Uh, but you know, notable mentions to Anderson and Cleverly, as well as you know, wishing Darren Fletcher well on his continual recovery. And last night was a sign uh, that he is coming back to his full fitness. So overall, decent night, and yeah, we progressed in the next round. So I hope you like this video, guys, and another episode of Match Report. I will be be back uh, this weekend after United played uh, Spurs, and you know that should be another uh, great game for us to talk about. Hopefully, we'll get the right result. If not, you know it's going to be uh, uh, quite disappointing, I guess, with every loss. But hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get the result and continue to get our 20th title. So if you like this video, guys, please rate. Comment below on any of the topics, who's your man in a match, etc. And subscribe to the channel for more content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.